In the name of the living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. For this journey, take nothing with you except a staff, your sandals, and one tunic. These are the instructions that Jesus shares with the disciples, with the twelve, as they go out to preach, to minister to people, to be with those who are in need to hear the message of God's kingdom of love and healing and transformation. And if I'm honest, when I hear Jesus' instruction to the disciples, I do not like it. I get anxious. I am the sort of person who likes to overpack. I like to cover all my scenarios. So when I hear Jesus says, only a staff, sandals, and a tunic, I said, no. Whether it is whether I am packing for a trip on the trail or I'm going to convention, I need to overpack. I need to have all the toiletries, I need to have all the chargers, every single thing I may need. Rain jacket, yes, I had all the glasses, everything that I may need for the trip. My wife, she's a carry-on person. I have learned that I need to pack at least one or two bags with me with all the things that I may need. And so hearing Jesus talk about only the essential, the bare minimum, all the bare necessities, it fills me with a little bit of anxiety, if I'm honest. And yet I am aware that as Jesus is sending out his disciple, he is giving them not just instructions of what they need for the journey, he's also telling us today what we need for the journey. What we need as we go out to meet the people of God, to encounter people, to minister to them, especially in those relationships which are important for all of us. These are the essential, the bare necessities that we need in our relationships with our spouses and our children and our parents and our friends, people who are dear to us. And so here Jesus is telling you, this is what is essential. Because I know many of us are struggling in our marriages. Many of us are struggling with our children. Many of us are struggling how to figure out how to deal with our parents with our coworkers, with our neighbors, with those who are dear to us. And Jesus is saying, be reminded of the foundations, of the important principles, of the essentials, of what's intentional and necessary. Only this you need for that journey. This is all you need today for that relationship with your parents. This is all you need today as you're struggling to figure out how to talk to your child. This is all you need today as you lean into places of courage and curiosity with your spouse. And he says, take a staff. You'll need it to ward off wild animals and to protect yourself. And so I'm wondering where in those relationships do you need to ward off wild animals? All those lists of grievances that we may have sometimes with our spouses, the resentment, the contempt that grows over time, all those places where it is hard for us to let go those areas where we need to be strengthened in our relationships and to protect them. Where in the relationship with your spouse, with a parent, with a child, do you need to find new ways to protect it, to care for it, to tend to it? What are the wild animals that are trying to attack your marriage? What are the wild animals and the things that are trying to harm your child, a good friend, a neighbor, or someone you love? What's the staff that the Lord is giving you today for you to protect them and to care for them. Something else that staff is able to help you with is stability as you walk, is your walking stick. Where do you need stability in those relationships? Where do you need to create more time to be with those you love? Just to create a foundation, to spend time with them and to share love and to receive love. And then Jesus says, wear your sandals and just one tunic. If you had two, you'd be okay being outside and you would not need to receive hospitality from anyone else. These are the essentials, sandals and tunic, just the essential. So what are the essentials in those relationships that you need for today, for this week, for this summer? The essentials in communication, clarity in the way you speak to one another, validating one another in your feelings, the way you are feeling the way that you're processing information, what is happening in your relationship and in the world. How are you able to lean into moments of curiosity and courage with the others? 
especially in times when there is so much resentment and negativity, not just in those relationships, but in the world. How can you create positive experiences, positive sentiments that may override all the negative things? Where is Jesus calling you to find what is essential in those relationships? Last but not least, the Lord says, go to those places where you're going to go and receive hospitality. How is the Lord calling you today to risk to be vulnerable, to receive kindness and mutuality and generosity and hospitality from others? Because often we do not trust that others will be able to accept our bids for attention and connection, that will be able to hear our words of apology or when we say thank you or I love you. Often that happens in our very relationship with God. So how is God inviting you today, this week, this summer, to risk vulnerability, to trust God? Because all that you're carrying with you, the essentials, are helping you to rely on God to grow in resilience and to risk vulnerability for the sake of connection. Where is God asking you to grow in connection this summer? As Jesus sent out the disciples, they were invited to pay attention to all the ways that it was hard for them to trust. I'm sure they were fearful. They were thinking of all the extra things they could carry, but they could take no bread, no bag, no money in their belts. So what are the things that sometimes get in the way of trusting? All the extra gadgets, all the outside relationships that we want to have, all the places where we find and we seek security. The addictions, the nice bank account, all the nice toys that we have that sometimes may give us a sense of security because we need control and certainty. And how is God inviting you to simply pay attention to what is essential? In order for you to figure out what is essential in your life, in your relationships, in your marriage, with your children, with your parents, in this very community of faith, you'll need to lean into the gift of discernment and to figure out in this season, what do I need to grow in love and connection with my spouse? What's getting in the way of loving her, loving him, caring for them? In this season with your children, how can you help them to increase in faith and hope and love? And how can you be open with curiosity to their needs? What is essential for them right now? How can you spend time in prayer, walking, being with them, and just asking God to show you what is essential right now? Every single one of you will need that gift of discernment. And then all of us together, as we lean into this new season here at Grace, what is essential for each one of us? The Lord is inviting us today to go on a journey. Can you listen to the instructions that he is giving you? The places that he's inviting you to go to? The ways in which he's asking you to lean into curiosity and courage. What are the essentials for each one of you? I know that when it comes for me in this new season, sometimes lack of certainty is the one thing that I struggle with. I can let go of a bit of control, but uncertainty is the place where I struggle. I need to know all the things and be prepared and be covered for all the scenarios, not just when I travel but in all my relationships, in my ministry, in my relationship with my wife, with my child. And so to hear Jesus say, don't overdo it. Do not cover all the bases. Do not plan for every scenario. Sometimes it is okay to travel without a rain jacket. It brings me anxiety. And yet, there is so much freedom in those moments. So today, I'm going to invite you to take some time, perhaps this afternoon, this week, and just to listen to the Lord and to ask him, Lord Jesus, what are the essentials in my life right now? How can I love myself more deeply? How can I lean into moments of love and connection with my wife, with my husband, with my child, with a parent? Where am I afraid? 
What is bringing me false security? How can I grow into a moment of deeper connection with those who are important to me? And as you do that, as you listen to the very specific personal instructions that God is giving you for the journey, know that nothing will lack you. Know that you may not be carrying bread and money and bags and all the things that you think you need. God is giving you more than enough. God's love, God's grace, and bread for the journey. So be prepared, open your heart, and lean into a series of moments to let the Lord show you what are the essential things. Look for the bare necessities. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.